Hey guys, Fox Photo here, back with another tutorial. And this time I'm gonna take this image here and I'm gonna do all my editing in Lightroom. I mean, Lightroom is really good, you can do most of it there. So I'm gonna do a full tutorial edit from A to Z, pretty much in Lightroom. So, what I'm gonna do first is I took this image at Bruce Peninsula with an F16 at 0.8. ISO 50, this was at sunrise, I shot this on the Sony a7R 2 and I think I only had a filter for the sky to kind of graduated neutral density filter to kind of even out the sky and I had a polarizer on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play with the white balance to kind of boost the colors a little bit, change them around. Remember being there it was daylight, cloudy. So I'm gonna go a bit warmer, I'm gonna go to shade. Just like before. After. Should I, I might just stick to daylight or ash as shot? I think that did a good job the white balance, the auto white balance. So also I'm gonna do a graduated mutual density filter. Gonna bring that down like so, bring it down to, I like a darker sky, not too dark, there we go, I might just add some blue there, just for the top part of the sky, maybe not too much, okay, there we go, let me see now if I change the white balance, what it does, to cloudy. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna do a check the bring down the highlights, open up the shadows. I'm gonna click Alt set my whites just till I get a few dots. Same thing with the blacks. I got a few blue dot, few dots. That's good. Okay. I like the water effect here. You know, it's nice. It's kind of leading your eye in. So what I'm gonna do after is I'm gonna do a bit of vibrance, and saturation. Well, I'm not too much. See, that gets a bit crazy there. Okay. And I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna do a bit of contrast here. I'm gonna do an S curve and the curves. Just pull down the darks, pull up the lights. And you can hear a toggle between on and off to see what, what the effect is. Got before, after. Okay, I went too much on the lights. Okay, before, after. I'm gonna go see if okay. no. bring down the whites a little bit, bring down the highlights, and up the shadows. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is saturation a little bit. I think I went too much on that. Okay. Let me do another graduated neutral density filter just for the sky. 
maybe not as much. If you pass it twice, it's nicer. Move that down. Okay, I like that. It's just to, we might just make it a little bit more blue too. Okay, let's just check before, after. Okay, it's starting to get nice. Why it's a little bit more? Okay, now. What I'm gonna do is, I like the saturation to be even more, so I'm just gonna target with this. You can target which color do you want to add, or you can see here. I go down, it goes up, go up, it goes up. It's only boosting the orange and the yellows here, so I'm gonna go a little bit colorful on this one. Oops. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the blues. Yeah. Take that up a little bit. All right, let's just check before, after. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Split toning. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna do my sharpening here. So I'm gonna click. I'm gonna go like ninety sharpening and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click alt and the masking here will show me where it's being applied I don't want to apply it to the sky so I want everything that's black I want only the stuff that shows white will be much be sharpened so I'm pretty much just gonna do that and at least won't do the sharpening on the whole image, just on certain parts. After what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to luminous, and I'm gonna do like 20. Zoom in, see if there's any. See before. So I mean it was pretty clean, so didn't need much noise reduction but pretty much here we do the sharpening this pretty much is noise reduction I just keep it at 10 just a little bit okay oh, there was no chromatic aberration I don't think let me check no I need to enable profile corrections okay that's good and actually I think I might remove one of the gradients I did here because I find it just too much. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Oops. That up. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, and next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna do a bit of dodging and burning. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna reset the brush right here. All right, you can do it. Click on the effect twice and you reset the brush. I'm gonna bring down, bring up the opacity to like. Kind of, and make sure that the brush, that the feather flow is 100%. Feather flow is a low flow, so it's not gonna do all the effect right away. Put a mask off. Intensity is same. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint where I want this part here because the eye will follow 
like the brightest spots, you know. Just want to bring some, just like dodging and burning, but in light room. So I want to make this part a little bit brighter. And I can always come down on the exposure if I want too much. I can go back up. I'm going to be there. I like it. Okay. And I might do a new brush just here for the back, just a little bit, make the water a bit brighter. I find it too dark, so I'm gonna just not natural. Okay, so take that down a bit. Okay, so I like that. And I'm gonna just boost the colors a bit more. And like a really warm, colorful image. Okay, that's nice. I like that. I think that's pretty much happy with that. Let's just check before, after, before, after. It's pretty nice. Like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning if there's any spots. And what's nice about Lightroom, they have this when you select the clone, the healing brush, you have visualized spots. And when you crank it up to a, all the way max, it shows you where the spots are. And you can just go click on them one by one, clean them up. Healing brush tool here is is good as well. Does a good job. I'm gonna zoom in because I really can't see. Do a quick check, make sure I got all the spots. Nothing is kind of I missed. I mean, with the visualized spots, it helps you find everything, you know. So, here I had this cone that was floating around, so I'm gonna clone that. I mean. Heal, use the healing spot. Okay, that did it. I'm gonna check if there's anything in the water I don't like. I find that that speed, it makes it like painter brush, you know. If a painter brushed this water together, it feels like a painting, you know. So I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back smaller. Alright, and let's just check before. After, before, after, before, after. I mean, Lightroom is an amazing tool. I love what it does. Happy with that. Let me just see what better clarity does. No, I don't like it. I might go down with the clarity a little bit to give it more of that soft look. See what that does? Don't go too much because then it would just look like yuck, weird. I'll just do. Maybe like minus nine, minus eight. All right, I'm happy with that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come. I'm gonna do Shift Command E, and that allows me to export it. I'll choose where I want it. Which folder, Bruce Peninsula, and I can name it Seascape. and save it for web srgb and export and it's done now i can share it online anywhere i want thank you guys